Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. So last week's vlog was my vlog to the Cambridge School of Visual Performing Arts. Thank you for the incredible comments and feedback on that. I was so over the moon and I know the whole team were. And just to be part of that was just a really amazing moment for me. A great like career highlight. Just something that felt really, really worthwhile. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then please do go watch that video and that vlog. I'll leave it linked on the screen so you can go see. But let's just say if you are someone who is interested in potentially going to a school and doing some higher education in fashion then you may want to watch that vlog. Also my new video just went up so I've been looking over all the comments and things for that. Um, it was just something completely different and I know that they're most likely not going to get a mix, not going to get like amazing views but I just wanted to create something a little bit different and this is just of a talk piece, a chatty thought piece and it's like a new series I've started called In The Know. So if you haven't seen that already I put it up last Sunday I'd love if you just have a little look and give me some feedback and comments and see what you think really about it. We put a lot of work into it and I know it's a bit different but I wanted to do something useful and a bit educational and advisory with like tips and things like that. So I hope that you like that as well. I leave it on the screen. So today is Sunday and what time are we on? It's nine o'clock and I'm just going to sit down to some emails. Yeah, I just got thinking about stuff. So this week a really cool article went out on the Guardian uh, website and it was by a lovely lady who had, she came along to my book club in London when I did one at Dry By in December and it was, I did a few of these little book clubs and they were really really lovely and intimate and she came along to that just to see what an influencer does, influencer, obviously from her perspective we're all influencers although I would, I would call myself a blogger, a fashion or beauty blogger. Yeah the idea was to come and see what an influencer does day to day and how they chat with their audience etc. Anyway it was a really really great article on The Guardian, some of the quotes from it were just so cool. <laughs> one of them, where was it? Oh, I can't find it, but the quote's in plan. She said, Victoria is the waitrose of bloggers, high-end and dependable. <laughs> what a great way to describe me. That's really, really nice. I really liked that. Anyway, it got me thinking because I know it's such a new industry and so many people now are bloggers or influencers, Instagrammers, whatever. It's such a new career almost for so many that I feel it's still met with a lot of hate and negativity and and misunderstanding. I realised I was sitting down this time of night, half nine on a Sunday night, I've just worked all day through my Sunday and I just kind of wanted to, maybe for someone, because I know a lot of you guys that watch me get it, but you never know, someone who isn't aware of how much particular influencers actually do and bloggers do, might be interested to see and sort of see it from this perspective. Yeah, I'm literally about to sit down and now go through the rest of my emails that I didn't manage to do on Friday. I mean, I switched off at fr on Friday about eight and gave myself a few hours off because I wanted to go and see Amelia for dinner, but otherwise I would have worked through and got them all done. So now I'm going to sit down and do all these emails before tomorrow and it all starts again. I mean, there are people that just do Instagram, which is fair enough. If that's what you want to do, cool. But I mean, I do a blog, I've got a newsletter, I've got a YouTube channel, Instagram, Twitter. I've got a lot of, um, it's got a lot of channels to kind of keep up with. So it's just a 24 seven job, like it's continuous. It's just all go, like non-stop. I usually go to bed after finishing work at like 10 and I wake up at like 8 so it's it's literally it's not that I get to shut off at 6 I'm like yep done all done right let's go let's go have fun somewhere like it's just not like that for some of us and I just really want to change that perception that the media seem to ha well some people in the media seem to have that we're just all like doing nothing and it's not hard work and we're all just like breathing along and you know, for some of us that is not the case. I mean, we're looking after our own businesses, we're creating stuff constantly. It's just, it's like a nine to nine job. That's a bit, well, I mean, I do longer than that, but usually like a nine to nine job, seven days a week. You don't get any time to like chill and take time off. Yeah, I just wanted to make a point. 
on that. Just after reading that article and it, it was such a great positive article, I just wanted to kind of bring that positivity back onto YouTube and just sort of say, but it is, it is, it is a lot of work, but I absolutely love it and I don't mind. So that's why I've worked all day. I've just filmed two videos and now I'm going to continue with the rest of it. So I've filmed, but I've filmed two videos that I'm super excited about. Um, I'm really, really pleased with them. The first one coming out on Sunday and what can I say about it? Let's just say it's a collection video and it features something brand new. Let's just say it's a brand new bag. Okay, okay. So make sure you stick around for Sunday or if at this point you don't already have notifications turned on for me, just click that little bell just down below, that little bell. You can click it and then at 7 p.m. on a Sunday or a Thursday when I post, you'll get like a little ding ding on your phone and it'll come up and say Victoria's just posted a video, you know, and then you don't miss one. That would be awesome. <laughs> um, so I'm really, really pleased with those videos. And then I, yeah, and then I did a video after that as well. It was all lots of, uh, lots of clothing in it. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased. Um, so what am I doing? What have I been doing this week? I just kind of really wanted to chit chat with you really. Yeah, it has been a really busy week, which is why I haven't vlogged this week because I've just had so much on. I've just been doing a lot of bodyism classes which I've been really really enjoying. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I've put a few clips today on my Insta stories. I'm just in the fro on Instagram if you want to see. I've just done some Insta stories from the workout just to show a few of like the booty burner workout bits. I've got loads of messages back just saying how, how many more you want to see so I might do some more of those so make sure you follow me on Instagram if you like. But I'm just literally looking back through the rest of my diary and it's just it was just back to back meetings. What am I doing tomorrow? Oh, I've got a meeting tomorrow. Oh, a few other things. Got a photo shoot on Tuesday. Oh, I do have my wedding. Um, I get to test out the food on Wednesday. It's a wedding testing. I to eat all the bits and pieces. Although um, we're hopefully having a menu with three choices, a starter, three main and three desserts. Um, but they're just gonna make us one each because usually I think at most weddings you get one option if you're veggie you get something else but if you get you just get one option whereas I was like can we have three and then everyone chews beforehand so yeah anyway so we're gonna go try those so I'm really excited about that and, oh, and then I've got an event and I've got another event and oh gosh a lot but then I've got a hen party on the weekend so that'd be good fun okay in fact let's just go back to the sec let's go back to the wedding I've just done a really good big update actually on the blog so I'm doing the wedding diaries on the blog if you're not caught up so it's just in the fro.com I've just done a big catch up talking about like my videographers, potential shoes, potential extra bits and pieces. I'm just literally everything, it's almost like a brain dump doing the wedding diaries. I just talk about what I've got organised that week, what I need to do next, etc. Kind of hoping that maybe it'll help someone else that's planning this or thinking about it. So that's that. So if you do want to kind of catch up with what's going on with the wedding, it's all on there. In terms of um, us wanting to move house, we are still in a bit of a limbo situ and I don't want to jinx anything. So until I know 100% what is happening and what is not, I don't really want to talk about it because I always find that I jinx these things and they go wrong. So I just want to keep stum for now and then I'll let you know what on earth is going on as soon as I know what is going on really really loved my makeup today which is why I wanted to film two videos with it. It's been on all day and it just looks pretty good as new actually. What did I even use? Oh yeah well I started off with good old CT magic cream. Went to that all over with a touch of this underneath which is just beautiful. The Sicily Black Rose Precious Face Oil. I believe this is quite pricey but it, I, my skin just went Loop. Yummy! And I also use this which I really love, the Guilan Eye and Lip Contour Cream. It's just a really nice eye cream. So I put those on. Um, I've also found two lipsticks I am just loving. Well, so first of all I refound the Alexander lipstick. Can you believe it guys? My favourite Tom Ford Lips and Boys lipstick that they got rid of. I refound it. I found it. They must be like super old ones but they're all fully packaged in cellophane. So I was like, I'm having so I bought three, the three last ones they had, um, and they were reduced to £15 each. I was like, I'll take them all. So that's my absolute favourite. But you know what? I've also just found these two dupes at the exact same time. I literally just found all these. So this one is Origins. 
I don't even know orange and said anything like this. Zero One Nude Blossom. In fact, I've got it on now. Uh, it's just a really lovely, silky, bit of a sheen to it, but with a great opaque-ish colour, which is what I like. I really hate it when lipsticks are, too, are beautifully sheeny, but that your natural lips lip colours coming through. I like my lips to look like the lipstick. Do you know what I mean? So there's that one. So let's just see. I mean, you're not going to be able to see very easily in this light, unfortunately. But do you know what? They are almost identical. That's really weird. In this light, it doesn't look so, but in... I mean, in, this one looks more orangey than Tom Ford here for some reason. It's got a bit more pink tone in it, but I don't know. Anyway, and then I found this one. Don't know why I've never got this before. Charlotte Tilbury, Kim KW. So good. And again, it looks so similar to these. So I have been interchanging between these three. I mean, this one's a little bit more nudie beige. The one, the middle's a little bit more, mm, I don't know, it looks a bit slightly deeper, but barely, barely. Anyway, those are my three right now, guys. They are my three. So I was wearing this one earlier. Yeah, it's just pretty much the same colour. Um, again, that's even more opaque, but still with a lovely sheen to it. So I'm really, really pleased. My favourite lippies. And, oh yeah, I cleaned all this out the other day. So I'm super happy. It's all nice and tidy. So put this on let's try this this is brand new the nars super radiant booster it looks unbelievable like it's like a golden gel uh let's try and put some on the back of my hand or something to see if this works can you see that yeah hopefully you can see that it's unbelievable so i put all of those in my face oh yeah like a contoured with a charlotte tilbury contour wand which i haven't done for ages and then i actually highlighted with this i didn't realize at the time i'd done both but they're both just fantastic products oh the mark jacobs bronzer went in with a bit of that bad boy although i kind of went in with my my brush quite ferociously and didn't realize how much it would kick back so quite pigmented that one and then uh, oh yeah tried out the new new jouet powders super pretty if you can see if you can see it just a really lovely powder i think i could probably do with doing a bit more powder but i'm going to take it off in a minute it's fine oh my eyeshadow right now i'm back on this this is one of my favorite eyeshadows i've ever had it's a tom ford in spice it's i mean i need a new one it's so low down but i literally just get a brush dab it in and just i work from the lash line making that a bit thicker and then just work up with whatever's left on my brush and I just find that colour looks really nice on me at the moment. Mascara went for this kind of double T, my usual bad gal bang. And then just to thicken them up a little bit, the Dior Pump and Volume. If you're someone who likes a bit of a thicker lash, then you can't go wrong with the Dior Pump and Volume. It's really brilliant. Brows, Lumine, as always. It's just such a fantastic brow product. But on my actual skin, that's what I'm trying to work out. What did I actually use on my skin? Oh, I know. I use the La Mer. I use the La Mer uh, skin tint in light. So I use that. And then I... Now I'm, it's coming back to me. It's all coming back to me now. And I used, yeah, the Jouer concealer as well. as so I dosed it on. And then I worked it in. I don't usually do this, but I worked it in with a little tiny brush just to get it really precise. I don't know. It's mixed up today. I think it's because um, a few days ago I had such a big clear out of my entire collection. Like seriously cleaned everything out again, started again, made everything lovely and tidy, got rid of things that were a bit older. Come on down. And when every time I do that, I find some real goodies that I've just never really used before because they've been hidden away. So today I had like time to get ready properly, whereas usually I'm in a rush if I'm going to a meeting. Today I had like time, so I just sat with my drawers open and was like, I'm going to try that and I'm going to try that. So I'm really pleased with how this all came out, actually. Really pleased. And I also did, I'll show you. I also tidied up my entire lipstick collection. So this is where I keep it. Um, so I'll show you quickly. <laughs> um, that's lip glosses. So that's all the lip glosses I've allowed myself to keep because I barely ever wear lip glosses. So I was like, why am I harboring like 50 million? 
Um, in here, this is, it looks a bit cray, but actually, um, I've got it, got it down in here. We've got, here, we've got super like blackberry purples. This one is pinks. That entire drawer is reds. Um, this drawer is oranges and lip balms. And then down here, anything that is in like a liquid lip form. And then I've got um, nude liners. You can tell which is my favorite color, can't you? So that's all like nudes that are in liquid lip form. And then in here, we have all the nude lipsticks across here and here. And just in this little section here are lip balms. So they're super quick for when I just wanna like grab a lip balm. But otherwise, all of them back there, I've kind of tried to keep them in, in their little families. Those are my favourite nudes. So that's all there together and I've got my little plant that I'm trying to keep alive but it doesn't happen very often, it often dies. Um, and then just there I have all my my eyeshadows. So I've just got like the brand new, brand new Anastasia palette. I've got some Natasha Denona there. I mean there's loads of really amazing ones. The new Urban Decay, I need to try out a bit more. So those are those. And then in here I figured, because I use so many nudes all the time, and I kept lining them up here and it was such a mess. So I've just got this one little thing full of my absolute favourite nudes. Um, I'm going to probably make this a bit smaller to be honest as well, but for now, we're all good. For now it's literally just the Rimmel Cappuccino liner as always, and then either, either Tom Ford, Alexander, Origins, Nude Blossom, or Charlotte. Silbury it would seem now. But oh, I mean there's some good ones in here though. This is one of my favourites. Bare mineral slay. Incredible soft creamy liquid. The Nars Lifreak Pigment. Again, fantastic. And really love the as well, actually. Bare, bare minerals again. These new, they're a bit more chalky style, which is kind of nice. So that's that. And I've reduced my brushes down a lot. These are, I gave them a massive clean the other day. I mean, I used them today. Um, but I gave them a massive clean and then I downsized by about half because I was like, why have I got all these brushes that I never use? And then when you're reaching for them, you reach for a clean one and then you end up with about three million that are all dirty. So <laughs> I reduced. Oh, well, that was a makeup tour and a half. I thought I've got a full 20 minute vlog here of just me sat here yeah it's just gonna be a really busy week this week so if this is all i can do for this vlog then i'm so sorry but at least it's been a bit of an update and a little bit of a makeup tour which is kind of nice. in fact i'll just show you the rest of my makeup a sec seeing as i've just shown you everything else i might as well show you a touch more so this is kind of what it again it doesn't look like i've done anything but honestly it this was covered i couldn't even get to anything so for example i've got this here is all highlighters, so I've got all my favourite highlighters here. I know which ones were some of my favourites. I mean, Illuminate, Illuminator is one of my absolute faves. The Charlotte Tilbury light wand is an absolute fave. I just love it to bits. Um, I've just got like my MAC in here and more Illuminate, Benefit. And then over here, we've got blush. I mean, that should be more here, really. But we've got loads of blush in here and then this is all uh, bronzers on oh, this bit and then a couple of setting sprays at the back there i have extra powders these are all extra powders and these are all extra setting mists but otherwise these kind of things that i reach for the daily oh god that is so heavy then in this one again it doesn't look like i've even decided it okay in this one i've got eyebrow products mascaras Eyeshadows, eyeshadow pots, and I mean this should be here with the powders, but there is no room for it, so it now has to go there. Um, here back here I've got all of like my stick, stick shadows are back there. Here are liners, nude liners and bits and bobs like that. And then again just more eyeshadow. This is kind of like the eyeshadow and eyes, eyeliners, eyebrows you know and then powders because I quite often do my powders right before I do my eyes so my powders are there and then finally I mean that's coming off it's so heavy and then in here we've got like all my concealers are in here underneath there we've got lots of SPFs and illuminators and then we have all of my favourite foundations here this bit here is like skin tints and CC and BB 
things but all of this is foundations and things that I'm absolutely just can't live without so in here you've got some of my absolute favorite foundations which include Lancome Tinted All, Bare Minerals, Bare Pro, the new Dior Skin Glow, the Dior Face and Body, the La Mer Foundation, the Dolce & Gabbana Millennium, Millennial Skin and I've also got the Bare Minerals in here and there's NARS Radiant, Radiant Pro there. Um, in fact that's the La Mer pan, I need to use that more as well. But those are my general faves, really. Oh, and then got loads of primers back there, but I mean, I never use primers, so yeah. So currently, oh, so currently that's all of my my makeup. It feels a lot more downsized than the way it used to be, especially like a year, year and a half, no, probably two, three years ago actually, when the whole blogger scene kind of blew up, and. We all got sent so many gifts and constant send outs of the newest products, which obviously is amazing. I'm extremely grateful, but it just gets a lot in terms of recycling and packaging. I only have quite a small, especially then I had an even smaller London flat and we used to just have mountains of boxes. So that's why I wrote a blog post maybe about six months ago about reducing the amount of send outs that we all get as bloggers. Um, and since then, it's actually been amazing. So many people contacted me and said, we totally get it, don't you worry. Um, I now generally, I get sent press releases instead. And if I if I need a product because I want to show you guys or review it, I call it in rather than having mountains of things I'm never going to use. Um, anything that I do get sent that gets slipped through the net, if I want to try it, I'll try it. If I don't, then I, I give it to charity. If not, it goes to friends and family. But now I feel like I'm in a much better place, I keep on top of things a lot more, I also have brands that, whereas back in the day I would work with so many different brands because I'd be constantly reviewing on the blog, whereas now I've got more of a direction, I tend to only really work with lo the luxury end of the beauty market, which is why um, I've recently become a Dior ambassador, I'm an Armani ambassador, Feel Unique, Vita Liberata, you know I have like my favourite favourite brands that I just adore their ethos, I just adore the people that work there and their formulations and their innovativeness, things like that and, and that's why I continue to support them really. Yeah so now the things I get are very much more minimal than they were before so I feel much better personally in terms of the environment, um, in terms of keeping on top of not having too much stuff and just being a bit greedy I guess. So that's that's where I'm at in terms of that. I mean obviously this collection is still huge and unnecessary, like massively unnecessary. Don't you worry, I understand that. But compared to what it was, this is uh, this is a quarter of the size of the amount of makeup I've had at one point, without a doubt. More than that, more than that. Um, but anyway, I feel like that's a really good, a really good catch up. Seeing as it's now, oh god, it's now twenty past nine. I'm gonna do some, gonna do these emails. I'm gonna do these emails, and then I'll hopefully get in bed. And um, I'm gonna go for a body some class tomorrow morning. Maybe I might bring you along for a little bit of that potentially. Also, Alex just made banana muffins. He's such a keeper, seriously. I um, Earlier I saw Alice Living had put on her Instagram a recipe for banana um, muffins. And I was like, babe, do you fancy making these later? You've got nothing to do. Because I was filming two videos, so I thought we've well, got nothing else to really do. We went out and bought the ingredients and made banana muffins and they're absolutely delicious. In fact, I'll leave a link down below to that Alice's post. <laughs> to Alice's post, like, just in case you want to make them, because they're really brilliant. All we did was substitute out the yoghurt for coconut yogurt and it's worked really really nicely it's really delicious I mean it's got eggs in it so if you are vegan then not too sure what you do about that point of it but the rest is uh, dairy free we've just got a bit of an issue with our cake buns sticking to our cake <laughs> give me my cake so mm, 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 so good honestly Alex Alex does the majority of the cooking in the house Ever since I started to work so late, I found that I really resented cooking because it was eating into my working time. So now quite often I'll be working while Alex cooks, which is amazing. I feel very, very lucky. <laughs> He's such a keeper. Anyway, I can see now on the time it's almost 30 minutes, 30 minutes. So if this is one vlog, guys, a bit of a catch up. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sorry if I've rambled on. 
I just really fancy just a heart to heart with you guys. If you are brand new and you've sat here this whole time and listened to me talk, thank you so much. Please do hit that subscribe button and the little bell button. It'll be amazing to have you back and I will see you soon. Mwah.